Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 A Game of Thrones. I'm recording this right after the last episode. I said I wasn't going to rename Skagos, but I am going to recolor it because it doesn't stand out enough. Um, I completely forgot to do this. Let's give it a, a nice light blue similar to the thumbnail. It just helps it stand out a bit on the, uh, more on the map so we can actually see what we control. Right, what's the goal for today? Um, I'm actually unsure. I mean, I guess starting to expand would be nice. Well, I don't understand the whole thing about not having access to the, uh, the Draconic Conquest Casus Belly. You're already at an activity. Okay, we know about that one because we're going on a hunt. Let's wait for it to, to return first. Grant Vassal. Ha ha, here we go, guys. So greetings, my impressive vassal. Good tidings. I've decided to make Lord Wollum of Rompersky a vassal. Of course, I will accept this. And we also get Lord Varamir, son of the vile Lord Bodger, as our vassal as well. So Skagos is united. That was the play um, I was kind of going for, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I, I have something there. Well, you, the, the, the only problem is they have zero contracts. But to be honest, um, they wouldn't have good contracts. Anyway, I mean, what I could always do is revoke their title. Oh, you have title revocation protection. Oh, you bloody bastards. Right. I mean, I've been a bit outsmarted there, but it's fine. That is often the case. Get back on your horses, lads. We're here to hunt. Uh, and there's already a Liberty faction forming against me. Do you know what? I hope you actually launch this because then I have a reason to imprison them and revoke your title. So, uh, oh, but you have title revocation. But then maybe I release you for a hook. And then I can use that hook to change your contract. There is a way. There is a way. Um, do you want to give me some gold? No. I can become a mediator and I gain some diplomacy. Sure. <laughs> so I guess, sadly, the only way we can kind of progress here is by fabricating more claims, right? Oh, but that's going to be expensive. But there's going to be no way about it. Daenerys has claimed the Dragon Langar. Oh, wow. You have purple eyes. Oh, that's a really beautiful dragon, actually. Um, Child of Cyrax. Okay. Man, getting some more dragon eggs would be nice as well. But uh, this is all time we're going to do in the, the long term. Um, I think we succeeded the hunt there, possibly. We did. Unfortunately, I didn't slay the beast. Uh, which is unfortunate. But, uh, you know, what can we do? What can we do? I could host hunts myself, but they're expensive. It kind of against, uh, goes against the idea, right? I can meditate at a werewolf. Let's wait for that, because uh, we can use that when we're actually struggling with stress. So let's not let's not use that right now. The children are doing fine. Elena is now four years of age. Right, so what does she want to do? Martial or intrigue? I'll tell you what, she's actually very good at martial. So I'm going to have her train in martial. And then let's see, you already have a guardian as well. Wait, you already have a guardian? Wait, so you were supposed to be diplomacy, dis diplomacy then? Because why would I give you a guardian if you... Did her sh focus get shifted? Sarah's on diplomacy. Domeric's on stewardship. Um, Alexandra was on diplomacy. Wait, so Elena, you're on diplomacy. Uh, and De De Denise, well, we're still struggling with that. You're either diplomacy or intrigue. Right, I can't actually choose your education focus. Uh, but your your mother is educating you anyways, which tells me you're probably going diplomacy as well. But apparently, we are going to become quite the diplomatic dynasty. That's actually quite different for me. Usually, I, I I get a flood of martial and intrigue, so it'd be nice for a little bit of a change. The latest work of my vassal, Lord Varamir, has become all the rage at court of late. The peace deals with memory and what we leave behind. And Varamir has publicly dedicated it to me. The memory of a lord. What man does not hope to rest when tired? His works surrounding the happy retired. And when their final hour nears, hope shall they their name brings cheers. Oh, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Maybe my, my vassals are very slowly starting to like me. Although I'd rather they send the faction. In fact, they're too weak to send the faction. So that's never happening. Right. Um, I could organize a grand tour if I wanted. Let's just see how much a taxation tour would actually be. Uh, I imagine quite expensive. I mean, we could just fly between our vassals, though. It costs 103 gold. I mean, I don't need an entourage because I'm going to be bloody on dragonback. 
And as for luxuries, I mean, that's the starting success. We can go for the cheapest one. 73 gold, and then we could do a taxation tour. Oh, this is new. You can do tours to spread your legend. Espouse legitimacy. You intend to use this gathering as a means to promote your legitimacy. Oh, that's very cool. I can also increase control and whatnot. Ooh. Okay, yeah, but 73 gold is still a long way away, especially if I'm going to be fabricating. So let's turn that off for now because it's, it's just not within my means, to be honest. Uh, not at all. Right, you're hosting a hunt. It cost me 5 gold. No, it cost me 10 gold to bloody take flight now. I I'm going to have to say no then because... I, I only get prestige and we're actually okay for prestige right now because we can't form a high No, that's not true. Now we can form a hybrid culture, but Man, the acceptance is so right. Let's get rid of this first. The acceptance can take so long What in the world has happened to my son Domeric? He is all bruised and beaten and he refuses to name who did this to him Was it an older child or did he pester a noble to the point of fury? If so much as a pin drops Domeric would be running for the safety of an empty closet the poor boy seems to live in constant fear. Oh, Domeric. He has become a craven. Who knows if he will ever tame and obtain a dragon. I need someone to, to claim Suvion. After my time has come. But we'll worry about that. I mean, I won't worry about that because I'll be dead, quite frankly. That's a problem for my children and grandchildren to solve. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, promote culture. It's it's only going to get 0.1 a year, which is, is not the best, especially when you think uh, you need 80% cultural acceptance. I mean, it's slowly going up, though. Very, very slowly by itself. Is it worth losing the 7% taxes, though? Probably not. If I do this, we lose 0.1. But we do get culture except ah, but we could lose control we can reduce tax income do you know what no i'm just gonna keep him on collect taxes for now the cultural acceptance will naturally increase as time goes on one day we may form the hybrid culture but not today guys not today right so i'm gonna have to well okay my counselor just died in his bloody sleep first of all i need to do admiral let's go ahead and get that sorted uh my maester can actually serve as my admiral so we're gonna go ahead and bring him in i'm guessing i need to fabricate claims because otherwise we can't declare war because i don't have castus bellies i can train with knight again though so let's go ahead and do that uh let's see uh, you only have 13 prowess, so you probably won't uh, beat me there we go thank you very much that would give us some um, buffs and whatnot we do have uh, an army now, at least. Under the brilliant midday sun, following an invigorating round of exercises and diligent practice of basic combat techniques, it was now time to partake in a series of friendly duels, all in pursuit of honing and advancing my combat prowess. Let us begin. Oh, it seems I lost. I would do better next time. I was injured during training. I get a moderate health penalty for three years. Oh, man. My health is still fine, though, but we're going to be wounded. Oh dear. It seems that today was to be one of the more interesting days. A local wealthy merchant has come to me with a most unusual request. He wished to purchase a ride. Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take you myself. Thank you for the gold. <laughs> so we actually have enough to fabricate now. And I guess we're going to start taking the coast. Eventually we need to become a king. Because that's the only way we can get a dragon pit. Also dragon pits are expensive. They're like 5k gold. Which is uh, another problem in itself, guys. But this is like the long-term plans here. So, yeah. Oh, it would have been really nice if we had Draconic Conquest. Is there a way? So, obviously... No, no, no. Not arranged marriage. Like, I have it here. But it doesn't tell me why I have it, right? I would have to look into the, the code, I guess, to find out this. Unless it was covered in a dev blog. I might actually reread the, 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 the later dev blogs after this. I can conquer your kingdom. Although it's not a very big kingdom. Yeah, getting some lands over here. It's just our land would be so split. Uh, I don't like having super split lands. This is kind of okay, you know. It's just across the, the small sea. Hmm. I mean, I guess we're going to have to start fighting the Karstarks. They do have some winter wolves, which is a little bit scary. But I mean, we have two dragons. 
how scary can they be? And I like to conquer stuff that's next to me. So we're going to have to start fabricating. It's going to take 22 bumps. It's going to take a little bit of gold. Uh, but we need to expand our reach in the north if we ever plan to be Lord Paramount. Which, of course, don't tell the Starks that. But that is my ultimate endgame goal. How long? It was 22 months, right? Yes. Okay, I've managed to sway my my Castellan, which is very nice. My lord, huffs me her. She marches up to me, holding my daughter, Sarah, by her ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a bear skin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. <laughs> Sarah, I'm afraid you need to be disciplined and punished. You need to show some maturity if you one day wish to be an important member of House Winter. Um, has the daughter had another child? She has. Right, we've had another son. Let's go ahead uh, and rename him. Where's the bloody name list? Um, all the way to the top. D-Roy, you have gone with the name suggestion of Torrin. Thank you very much for the name suggestion there. Oh, I should have pinned him, shouldn't I? Uh, this is getting hard to keep up with things. Do you have any traits? No. But you have decided to go with Martial Focus. I... Uh, I can't actually pick that one. I oh, because his mother's already the guardian, right? Unfortunately, I mean, I could use a hook to get him in. Actually, do you know what? Let us do that. Uh, I'm gonna use the this hook to get him into my court, and then we can go marshal. There we go, guardian. His mother. Uh, um. What is it? Is it somewhere in here? Remove guardian. My daughter might not like that. But it's fine. I, I need to... Uh, I know what's best for the young lad. Con Spring shall be his new educator. Could we have done that with Denise as well? I, I forgot what focus though you, you wanted. So it's already gone. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't be able to make use of that hook anyway as Elric for my grandchildren. So it's fine. I can petition Liege again. We could get some more control, but it would only affect this. Let's see what other options we have here. We have so much prestige. So we can set, send the bailiffs. Uh, fortify the borders. Aid you in fortifying your counties which border other realms. But what does that mean? I have no idea. Restoring control. Converting counties is kind of useless. Uh, and this is population. I'm going to ask him to send the bailiffs. Let us fly to Winterfell once more and hope that the great Benjen will send more aid to the islands of Skagos. Maybe he's finally happy that uh, Skagos has kind of been brought under control by the Northerners. I'm escorted into Lord Rickon's throne room. Uh, sorry, Lord Rickon, not Lord Benjen. Benjen has already passed on. I forgot about that. Where he beckons for me to approach and address him. I carefully describe the problems my fiefdom faces, resistant to my authority, and beset by vagabonds and request assistance in restoring order after listening to the speech he sits in silence for several moments as he mulls my petition over eventually he addresses me you make some good arguments but if i am to agree to your request i would need something in return surely you see it would benefit both of us if we come to an agreement so what do i get i give him 30 gold and we gain control i think it's worth it i think that's a fair offer my lord. And I will be willing to pay for your aid in return. I know that uh, you are spread thin across the north. And I can't request such things for free. King Viserys has hatched a new dragon. Ragagon. Also, uh, the devs released a small patch for us that fixes the performance issues with dragons, which is very nice. And there's a much, much bigger patch coming out for the release with like 60 plus fixes for you guys. I probably won't update to that one because I have a feeling it might break my current save. So <laughs> you guys are going to be playing on a more updated version of Dragons than I am. In fact, what's the date today? It's the 21st. But when I upload this, it'll be the 23rd. Maybe you guys already have access to Dragons at this point. If you don't, then some point today you will. Bloody hell, that's exciting, isn't it? Oh, that's really exciting. I, I can't wait to, to, to see everyone play. Right, uh, Danger minus 15. We don't really need that. Let's just get supply capacity for now because we might have some longer wars. Uh, how is my health doing? 51 and we're still fine. All is good. 
And there we go. We have returned home. I love that we can fly on our dragon like this. Uh, I can meditate on the weirwood. To be quite frank with you. Uh, I don't think I need to do that right now. How's my, my daughter going? She's not pregnant again yet. That's okay. Did you have traits? You were quick. Did any of your children inherit that? Not yet. Okay, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Liege has entered Regency. Day one Targaryen. Due to traveling abroad. That's like my higher leech though, right? To stop my, my direct leech. Uh, I guess you could say. How are we doing on the fabrication? We're like 40% of the way there. I think we should speed things up. Right, I can ride Suvion. I mean, I'm going to do that. I mean, we don't actually need to bond Suvion. I could have saved this. How's our experience looking as well? We're almost there. So to get dragon training, you need to be martial focused. However, what I realized is that it's also enough just to have one perk in martial as well. Because we have one perk in martial and then we started getting training experience in battles. To make my castling more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment to my next missive to his court. Let's just keep it short and professional. I can sway the land with my natural charm. 62 gold is nice. We're almost halfway down the fabrication. The car stocks do not know what is about to hit them. How old is um, Solfis? I need to try and remember his name. Only 19. He's quite a small fella. Do I want to bring my daughter to battle with me or not? It would be a gamble, but it would get her some experience. Which I think is important. Tensions have been escalating between me and Lord Owen of the First Hollow for months now. Our feuds and differences of opinions won't be resolved by words alone. Where's this? Oh, you're all the way over in the West. Our day, one day, as I'm reviewing the latest maps and resource reports, an urgent message arrives. It's from Lord Owen of the First Hollow, challenging me to a duel to settle the dispute once and for all. Do you know what? I will never back down. <laughs> you can still flee, you coward. I won. Very nice. I have proven that I am the better man. Well, let's go back over here. I, I really want to see this fabrication be complete. Are we still improving control? It's up to 93, right? It's slowly getting there. Man, to think uh, all of our control issues are finally fixing themselves. I say that and then we get bloody bandits running rampant. So it's not fixing, is it? Right, let's train ourselves for a tournament. We're going to gain a prowess as well. That's going to take us up to 35. Our prowess is looking much better than it was at the beginning of this series. Which is nice. What in the world would my son Domeric doing in that wardrobe in the servants' quarters? Playing hide and seek, he claims. Oh no. He's a craven and he's chased. He's never going to have any children, is he? Oh bloody hell. It's fine. It's fine. Um... Develop capital should come off cooldown soon. That's what I'm waiting for. This is nearly up to 80%. The expansion is going to be slow without the Draconic Conquest. That much is for sure. And I wonder if there's ever a way we declare independence rather than trying to take... Uh, that could be so. Right, let's develop the capital. Hmm, there's so many ways we could go about this, but... Uh, oh, did I just untick that? I think I did. Uh, retick that, please. My, my mouse aim is bloody terrible. And then we can meditate at the werewood as well. We can lose some stress. And all the other good stuff. The frozen bolt of winter. Needs a worthy successor. Let's try and search for one of those. Because we don't have anyone in our court to fill in. We're up to 100 gold. We could start building gold buildings. But I also want to expand. During a walk through my domain, I come upon some frozen ponds. When the temperature is warmer, these are usually a great spot to go fishing. But it seems that even the colder climate has not deterred some small folk from trying their luck with ice fishing. Can I join you folks? What do I get? I gain popular opinion. We desperately need that. But I, I think the age of the... Uh, the peasant revolts uh, are over. Which is very nice. Maybe my children have to deal with them now. And I have just received news from the maester. Greetings, Lord Elric. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the lordship of Everwood. But wait there, my leech. I could even argue 
that you are the rightful lord of the high lordship of Carhalt. <gasps> 224 gold man we're gonna be in debt for so long but i can't pass this up this is insane oh but i won't be able to declare war because i oh i'll be in debt as well oh that's gonna take so long so we're gonna be like 120 gold in debt and we only get three a month that's gonna take like 40 months that's over three years we're gonna be in debt for oh man i i have to do it though i have to do it that's insane sure it's insane 116 does it give you an estimate of how long before you get out of debt i don't think so uh you finished increasing control okay that's good that's good if we also increase the control over here as well uh there we go then we can start getting more taxes too the worthy Stefarian staves may be appointed as successor. Okay, let's go ahead and sort this out. Hopefully, I live long enough to see this war. We could gain all of this land, which would be absolutely huge in our efforts. I have to try for it. We don't have any prisoners we can ransom, do we? Uh, unfortunately not. And there's no way any of these would have got gold. Ah, man. Do you know what we need? We need someone to, to scheme against us. Send a spy. And then we imprison them for them uh, and then banish them for their money. Uh, our alliance with the Liddles expired because he died in his sleep. But now we have an alliance with Lord Brandon. Who will be marrying Lady Sarah. Is that matrilineal? I, I never remember. Oh, it's not. Oh, Sarah. Why did I do that? Sarah, I'm going to break the betrothal. I just realized what I did. They're going to hate me for that. It's fine. Let us do this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Dominic, you're betrothed fine, right? Yeah, so that's patrilineal. And if it's matrilineal, it has like the uh, the female sign. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I slowly understand the symbols, guys. And none of you guys have been uh, married off yet. I'm glad that we selected for strong seed stuff. It's very cool. Uh, my alliance is now ended. Since I broke the betrothal. I have a dragon though. So I doubt they're going to do anything here against me for that. Do you know would be good if I could sell um, marriage for gold? I mean, I sound bloody terrible out of context. But I, I need gold. I'm not going to go on the hunt. I, quite frankly, I can't afford it actually. <laughs> oh no. Um, you're collecting the taxes. You're managing the domain. All I can hope is that maybe we get some events. Like maybe... Uh, my steward can find us some additional gold or something. Maybe I could even find a better steward. Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll go unmarried female first. Can you... 17 stewardship is not so bad, actually. Let's remember 17. Uh, that might be the best we can get. If we look at unmarried men... Let's see if we can get something higher than 17. Only 13. Um, Suvion can't marry, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 21 oh dara could be amazing and she's only 22 so she might improve as well right let's try and get dara into here uh con is my captain let's just make sure i'm not accidentally marrying off one of my children to be impressive elric i accept your marriage proposal your courtier con and my acquaintance dara will be joined in holy matrimony this is excellent news can she serve as my steward she can very nice. So we're up to, to 3.6. Oh, it just dropped to 3.5 though. But maybe now we, we have a good chance of extra taxes. And we get more uh, from this as well. Which is important. As I watch two of my captains, Stefarian and Valor, spar in the castle courtyard, I find myself considering their individual strengths and weaknesses. Stefarian exhibits, exhibits admirable footwork and precision. Uh, where did I get to? His tendency to telegraph strikes could, however, be exploited. On the other hand, Valar occasionally forsakes defense, leaving vulnerabilities exposed in the heat of battle. They are two promising knights with distinct paths for improvement. Which one of you is the, the youngest? Oh, the, uh, let's go for Stefarian. We'll improve him. And I do unlock another prowess perk for myself as well, which is very nice. Let's see. Army gold maintenance reduction would be nice. So let's try and get towards that. Because that will improve our income as well. 
also i noticed the performance has uh, improved a lot as well which is very nice uh domerick has now come of age oh no oh no i forgot about the grand wedding i did say it would be a problem for the future me and now the future me is regretting that take <laughs> oh you want 35 gold i can't give you gold i'm afraid uh, I can't afford it. The day has been one of constant snowfall, and as such, my court is rather quiet. As boredom starts to set in, I decide I need a task to help away, which will away this snowy day. I think I'll visit the treasury. Maybe I can find some spare gold. Uh, she gains opinion on me? Did I gain gold? I don't think so. Who are you marrying? House Glenmore. Oh, it's so expensive. Am I going to have to break off the alliance with the Glenmores as well? We don't have an alliance anyway. I'm afraid I'm, I I have to. I I I, I have to. Oh, I lose level of fame as well. We start a feud against the Glenmores. Okay, I'm just gonna have to ignore it for a little bit of time, and hopefully they cancel it. My vassal Lord Waller, known for his interest in venery, brings rumors of beasts followed in my realm. Are we getting game sighting? Ah, but we. But we don't gain a free hunt. A free hunt would have been so useful here. Oh, my son. Just, I, I want to double check. Yeah, my daughter is my player. Yeah, that's fine. I, I really, um, I really get to play with equal gender law. So it's fun. Um, the fact that my daughter, we can play as her after. Also, she's pregnant once more as well. Which is very nice. Yeah, Domeric, I can't remarry you. I, I can't risk a rivalry. Not with the Glenmore's red now. I, I don't want that kind of beef. Right, who should we sway next? Maybe my steward. I want to keep her on my side. Let's start swaying her. We've only minus 70 gold now. How's the health? Even though we're wounded, our health is still fine. And I, I did say the peasants are, are done, but... <laughs> they're back. They're going to be launched in 50 buffs. Right, let's go ahead and speed things up. Because until we get out of debt, we can't really do anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. It's an unpressed claim as well. I knew that getting older would mean doing everything slower. But I didn't think it would all come to a halt until my death. Lately, I feel a constant malice and everything takes more effort than before. I am worried that if I lie down, I might not be able to get up again. There is no doubt that my time is running out. I feel like I can do naught but to await death's sweet embrace. How long? Will I have to wait? I have become infirm. My health is poor. And ailing. I'm overwhelmed by stress. Wait, I thought I paused the game. I didn't. Uh, we can go for a ride, though. Let's go for a ride. We're no longer stressed. Oh, man. If I wasn't wounded, you know what I might have to do? We might. Oh, I can't even do it. No, I can. We may have to request a loan. From the Iron Bank of Bravos. I have a dragon. In fact, I have two dragons. I can prove to them that their investment will be worth it. And then my daughter's gonna have to deal with the repercussions. Because I don't know how we're gonna pay it back. I mean, if we have a lot more land, we'll get more gold. I think it's my only my only chance. I've wasted 200 gold. To get the claim on the duchy, I, we need to push it. The wealthiest and most reputable financial institution in the world, the Iron Bank is more than happy to extend credit to anyone it deems trustworthy. Be forewarned though, it is not said idly that the Iron Bank will have its due. A representative from the Iron Bank will be sent to negotiate a loan in terms. Let us send letters and await their env envoys. I rarely actually do this. I did it once at the very beginning, so I don't know if there's ever been any changes to this. I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, okay, we just got some normal stuff here. Uh, what's this? Do you know what? Uh, okay. We had this before. I think the long swords are important. Because the long swords are easier to use on Dragonback. They're longer, so we can reach people easier. Although they're heavier as well, so maybe it's not. My servants bring me word that three envoys from the Iron Bank of Bravos have arrived seeking an audience with me. Intrigued, I agreed to meet them. The foreigners look out of place in my hoard. Their three-tiered hats and purple robes a stark contrast to my guard's boiled leather. 
Their accent is difficult to understand, tinged with the colors of the East. Their proposal, however, is plain enough. They offer a choice between three loans, one quite modest, one more significant, and a third for a sum that causes my eyebrow to twitch upward. Whatever I borrowed would have to be repaid with interest, of course. I think the 100 gold will be enough. Repayment in four, including interest, will be due in two years. I hope the interest isn't a lot. Let us pause there, though. So, in the next episode, we shall start our war with the Karstarks. They have so many allies, though, in Minute Arms. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I have the Knots. The Knots do have some Ironwood Spears. And don't forget, we have two dragons. That we do. We'll have to see if we are bidding off more than what we can chew. We've taken a loan from the Iron Bank as well. They're going to be expecting repayment in two years. That's probably going to be a problem for my daughter. But guys, I'm going to leave it there for today. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you next time.